I came home and I kept calling her and ringing the buzzer and nobody would answer. So I made my way upstairs and it just something wasn't right. Her purse was there, the car keys were there, the car was there, everything was there and it was just laid out on the table. She had a meal, it was halfway done, that was there. So I called, I was calling everybody and my brother called me and he's like, um, where's mom? Everybody's looking for my mom. And I finally came to a conclusion and realized, you know, they took her. And it was just, it was just um, really overwhelming because I felt like she was just gone and we didn't even get to say bye. And we, we went downtown that day and we seen the buses leaving. And, you know, I just felt like I lost my mom. And I feel like no child should ever be taken away from their mother. I never really knew how it felt to be taken away from my mom. And now I do it. It feels like I really have nothing. I have support and love from everybody, but it's like without my mom's support, it just, it, I feel so empty. It's just, I can't, I don't think I'd be able to imagine myself without her, really. And I don't see how they can actually do this to people. How they have the hearts. And I know they have kids. How would they feel to be taken away from their kids? She was gone. And now we go visit her every Tuesday. And I just want to give her a hug. And, you know, just I just want her to hold me how she used to. And we have to talk between a glass. Really, nobody deserves this. I'm not just saying just me, nobody does. And for the fact that she's innocent, you know, I get we're trying to make this place a better place, but that's not gonna help taking people's moms away. That's not really, that's not gonna help. I just want my mom, that's it. How's your mom doing when you talk to her? She's always crying, always. She always tells me she loves me keep my head up. Does your mom even remember Iraq? Would she no, she there? was, no, she was three years old when she left. And how can you send somebody back to, it's, it's cruel there. Like, there's no point of even sending them there. If you're gonna do that, you might as well just, like, Sorry for saying this, but you might as well just literally kill them here. They're going back home to get killed. That's what they're sending people back there for. People made mistakes in the past and there's, and this is old, this is over 13, like 13 years ago. People change, people don't stay the same. People learn from their mistakes. Well, at least my mom did. And I'm sure plenty of others did too. And they don't deserve this. She's a really kind person. And I didn't know that until June 11th. I didn't know how much she meant to me and everybody else until she's gone. You never really know what you have until they're gone, but I still have hope.